Hello friends, uh, let us uh, continue our uh, discussion uh, for uh, uh, Fredholm integral equation of uh, second kind with when kernel is given as separable kernel. So, uh, there we have seen that the if the determinant of the coefficient matrix uh, denoted, as, uh, denoted as, uh, d lambda is uh, non-zero, then the equation y x equal to y x equal to f of x plus lambda a to b uh, k x t uh, uh, y t d t has a unique solution and it is given as uh, y of x equal to f of x plus a lambda a to b gamma x t lambda gamma x t lambda f t d t where gamma x t lambda is uh, given as d x t lambda upon d lambda and d lambda is the coefficient matrix here and here we have assumed that d lambda is non-zero. Now the problem is that if d lambda, so if this value of lambda happen to be the root of this coefficient matrix uh, coefficient matrix d lambda, then uh, this solution is not defined. Then we have to find out say uh, conditions on f such that we may have solution. So, in general we do not have any solution of this right, but uh, there are certain conditions when this f is having certain feature for which we have uh, still have a solution of this particular problem. So, in case of uh, d lambda equal to 0 uh, uh, to find out the solution we consider the transpose equation of the uh, original equations uh, that the given equation. So, how we define uh, uh, transpose equation we define transpose equation like this y of x equal to f of x plus lambda a to b k star t x y t d s here k star is the conjugate transpose of k x t. So, here uh, 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 this is the known as uh, transpose equation or sometimes people uh, call it a joint equation of the first one. So, here uh, we say that uh, we try to find out the condition. Uh, so, here before uh, starting with anything we try to uh, discuss certain properties here. So, first property I been, uh, we want to discuss is that the Eigen function corresponding to distinct Eigen values of um, transpose equation and the uh, given equation are orthogonal to each other. Means what that suppose we have a Eigen value like uh, here uh, let me write it here that uh, use some other notation let me write it. So, here we write it uh, say um, uh, g of s equal to uh, say lambda a to b and here we have k of x t and uh, uh, let me use this k x g of s. So, here we have g of x equal to lambda 1 k x t uh, g t d t. So, this is this implies what that g is the Eigen function of the equation of this uh, Fredholm integral equation uh, corresponding to lambda 1. And let us say that we have a h of x which is uh, uh, lambda 2 a to b and we here we have a transpose of this k square t of x h of t dt. Now, my claim is that this g n h which is uh, Eigen function corresponding to lambda 1 of the uh, problem and h is the Eigen function corresponding to uh, lambda 2 here lambda 2 is not equal to lambda 1 and Eigen function of the transpose equation. And we are claiming that this uh, g of x and h of x is orthogonal to each other. M what do you mean by this? It means that a to b g of x h star x d of x is equal to 0. So, this we want to prove. So, to prove this what we do here we simply uh, multiply by h star x here and integrate and uh, we do the same thing here. So, what you will get here let me write it here. So, here we have a to b g of x h star x d of x is equal to what this is uh, lambda 1 a to b and here we have k of x t g of t d t and here I am writing 
uh, a to b and this is what I am writing this uh, okay. So, here it is what um, I am multiplying this as uh, uh, h star x h star let me write h, uh, h star x here and then d of x right. So, now this I can write it here a to b and here uh, we can write it here simplify this. So, what we try to do here we uh, we can write this as lambda 1 I can take it out then h star x. So, h star x and here I can write it a to b k of x of t g of t dt and d of x. Now, here uh, we want to find out say expression of this. So, here we can uh, find out h star x, h star x is basically what you can uh, 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 take the transpose of this and we, we can put it here value and then uh, we can simplify what should be the value here ok. So, here uh, or you can say that we can change the order here. So, when you change the order what you will get. So, here we have um, this is what this is a to b uh, g of x h star of x d of x is equal to lambda 1. Now, I am just changing the order here then we have a to b and this is uh, what you will get k of x t I am writing uh, h star x and g of t and we have d x here and d t here then I can take g t out. So, we have lambda 1 a to b and then it is g of t a to b k x t uh, h star x and we have d of x. So, this I can write lambda 1 a to b j of t. Now, here what, 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 what I can write here this I can write uh, this as what. So, from here look at this how I can write it this this I can write here uh, I want to uh, so here this is what I can write this transpose of this. So, d t I have missed. So, I can take this as transpose here and then it is uh, ok. So, this I can write it here ok. So, this I can write it here. So, transpose of this so it will go to this I can write it like this. Now, this is what this is a to b k star x t h x d x is basically what it is giving you this. So, here I can write g t and I can write this as h star uh, t d t is it ok divided by say lambda 2 right. So, I am using this expression and we, we are writing the value of this. So, it is a to b k star t x s t d t is nothing but h x divided by lambda 2 and uh, conjugate transpose of this. So, this is what lambda 1 divided by lambda 2 a to b g of t h star t d t here and this is nothing but a to b and g of x h star x d of x. So, t is just a dummy variable. So, I can replace it by x. So, this I can write 1 minus lambda 1 upon lambda 2 and here we have uh, what we have a to b g of x h star of x d of x is equal to 0. Now, lambda 1 is not equal to lambda 2. So, this implies that g x is orthogonal to h star x. So, here we can say that the eigen, fun eigen function corresponding to lambda 1 of this equation and the Eigen function corresponding to distinct Eigen value uh, of the transpose equation are orthogonal to each other right. Now, with the help of this we try to find out the condition that what happened if d lambda equal to 0 then what should be the condition on your f of t so that we have a solution here. So, for that so uh, we want to know that when d lambda equal to 0 what should be the condition on f of t so that our equation has a solution. So, here uh, if you take that d lambda e is equal to 0 uh, let us say that uh, lambda is equal to lambda naught where lambda naught is the solution of uh, this uh, 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 root of this uh, determinant d lambda then we can call this as uh, Eigen value and let us say that the corresponding to this lambda naught we have a an Eigen function say let us say uh, we have say phi 1. Uh, uh, corresponding to phi 1 naught uh, say phi 1 naught to say phi 1 uh, say 
let us say phi k naught. So, we let us say that corresponding to this lambda naught, we have these many eigenfunction of the equation this y of x equal to lambda naught uh, a to b k of x t your y t d t. So, it means that this phi 1 naught to phi k naught satisfy this homogeneous integral uh, equation. Now, now we claim that we want to claim that that if f of t is orthogonal to all phi i not t d t is equal to 0 then and then only we have uh, say uh, uh, we have some solutions of this equation y of x equal to lambda not a to b k x t y t t t. So, for that let us uh, say that uh, how we can write this. So, here let us say that uh, let us say that we have a solution of the problem. So, let us say that g x uh, has a solution of what of the non homogeneous condition that g x equal to f of x plus lambda a to b uh, k of x t uh, g of t uh, d t. Right. So, let uh, g is one of the solution of this and then our claim is that if f satisfy this condition then we have a solution. So, to show this let us say this. So, a to b f of t phi i naught t d t and this I can write as. Uh, so, this I can write here as a to b and I am writing the value of f of t. Uh, so, f of t is basically I can get it from this. So, here we have uh, 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 this g of t uh, plus minus lambda minus lambda naught uh, a to b we are considering for lambda is equal to lambda naught. So, let us say lambda naught. So, a to b and we have what k of x t and g of t d t right. So, this is what we are writing here. So, let us use some other symbol otherwise. Uh, so, here let us use some let us say s you are using. So, g x s g of s d of s and this I am writing as so here it is t and d t here. So, what I am doing I am just writing the value of f of t. So, how we are getting the value of f of t from this I am getting value of f of t. When I am writing f of t then I have to use some other dummy variable for this integration. So, here I am using dummy variable as s and then I am writing here. So, I am writing the value of f of t. So, how I can write? So, I can write f of t as g of t minus lambda naught and a to b and here I am writing g of t and this is s. So, uh, integration variable is s g of s d of s right. So, I am just using the value of f t here. So, which I am writing here g of t minus lambda naught a to b k t s g s d s and then I am writing phi i naught phi i naught t d t right and then we try to get some kind of condition on f t. So, this I can write it simplify a to b g of t and then uh, when we have this then we have phi i naught t d t minus lambda naught a to b uh, we have what uh, this is lambda naught a to b uh, k t s g of s d of s phi i naught t d t is it okay. Now, uh, what we want to show is that uh, f t is orthogonal to this means uh, uh, I have to take the conjugate of this. So, please orthogonality means this is the conjugate. So, here please uh, correct this right and then we have this and then we have this and then we have this is it okay. So, here uh, once we have this then what we to, uh, do here we simply change the uh, 
order of this integration. So when you change the order of this integration, I'm just looking at this particular part. So here I'm writing here as uh, a to b and a to b. Now if you change the order, then uh, t will come inside and ds will come out. So it will be what kts and g of s and phi i naught star t then I am taking dt inside and ds outside is that okay. So this is what this implies that a to b and I am having a g of s here and then what is inside is a to b k t s and phi i naught star t dt and then d of s. So this I can write as uh, uh, you can write it transpose here then inside it will be transposed here right. So this I can write it like this. Now uh, we uh, have what this is uh, phi i naught t dt is a solution of what it is eigen function corresponding to this lambda naught. So uh, lambda naught of the transpose equation. So here I am we have assumed here that corresponding to lambda equal to la lambda naught phi i naught to phi k naught are uh, the solutions of uh, the solutions of of transpose equation that is y of x equal to lambda naught a to b k star t of x uh, y t dt. So if we take the assumption on these then this is what this I can write as a to b and this is nothing but what this I can write as um, the g of s as it is divided by lambda naught and this is going to be uh, phi i uh, phi i star and we have s and then d of s is that okay. Now if you uh, this is lambda time uh, yeah y x upon lambda. So uh, this so in so this value is coming out to be this provided that phi i phi 1 0 to phi k 0 are the solutions of this. Uh, the transpose equation or you can say that uh, when lambda equal to lambda naught if we have say eigen function corresponding to transpose equation corresponding to this lambda naught then we uh, this value is equal to this and if you put this value then what we will have then this value is coming out to be 0 right. So it means what so this implies what that a to b your f of t your phi i 0 t dt star is coming out to be 0 for since I have taken any i so I can write it that it is for i equal to 1 2 and up to k. So it means that uh, that we have a solution that here we have assumed that g is a solution of this particular problem. So if g is a solution then we must have that f t is orthogonal to the Eigen function corresponding to the transpose equation is it okay. So that is the necessary condition yeah there is a and we can prove that this is also a sufficient condition but I am not uh, going into detail of that that is easily available uh, that you can do uh, you can prove it okay or you can see uh, the book of uh, R p Kamal linear integral equation. But uh, we can show here that if g is the solution of the uh, given problem that is Fredholm integral equation of second kind then the necessary condition that your f t has to be orthogonal to the Eigen function corresponding to the transpose equation is it okay. So if we summarize all this thing then we can write one theorem. Uh, the theorem which is going to uh, stated in next slide that is this Fredholm alternative theorem. It says that either this integral equation this equation y x equal to f of x plus lambda k x t y t dt with fixed lambda possesses one and only one solution y of x for arbitrary L2 functions f of x k x t in particular the solution y equal to 0 for f equal to 0. So that this portion this uh, first portion is corresponding to when d lambda is equal to no, uh, d lambda is not equal to 0. So when d lambda is not equal to 0 you can find out your uh, c unique way and you can get 
a unique solution of this non homogeneous first uh, uh, Fredholm integral equation of the first coin or you can say that if your f of x is equal to 0 then in that case all those constants is simply is vanish and in that case you have only trivial solution. So, uh, this first portion is corresponding to the uh, fact that d lambda is not equal to 0, but if d lambda is equal to 0 then we have to look at the, the homogeneous equation y x equal to lambda uh, a to b k x t y t d t possess a finite number of linearly independent solution this we are one possibility is corresponding to d lambda not equal to 0 other possibility is corresponding to d lambda equal to 0 and this uh, theorem is known as Frodo's alternative theorem. What we try to do here, uh, here we have considered this uh, particular theorem for uh, kernel which is separable. Now what we try to do here, we, we want to generalize the theory developed for um, separable kernel for uh, uh, kernel which is not separable or we can uh, generalize this theory for a general kind of kernel. So, that is uh, before this we can consider a simple example here uh, that is based on freedom alternative theorem and once we discuss this example later on then we will discuss how to generalize the uh, uh, discussion which we have presented in this lecture or in the previous lecture to the general kind of uh, kernel. So, when uh, we just quick look to this particular example. So, here we have uh, uh, equation given here y of x equal to f of x plus 1 upon pi 0 to 2 pi sin x plus t y t dt. So, here question is that if f of x is x then uh, we do not have any solution, but if f of x is equal to 1 then we have infinite many solutions here. Right. So, for that uh, since uh, look at here the kernel is sin of x plus t and if you simplify this is nothing but a kind of separable kernel. So, when you write it separable kernel which is written as a 1 x b 1 t plus a 2 x b 2 t then we can write down the a i k as this. So, here we can calculate all these a 1 a 1 a 1 1 a 1 2 a 2 1 a 2 2 and which by which we can form the matrix uh, d lambda uh, coefficient matrix d lambda and determinant of d lambda is given as uh, 1 minus lambda square pi square. So, if we may uh, we know that if uh, d lambda is non 0 then we have a unique solution here ok and unique solution is given as y of x equal to uh, f of x plus lambda times resolvent uh, integral of resolvent kernel f t d t right. The resolvent kernel means gamma x t lambda f t d t which is given as uh, this equation number 11. So, when d lambda is non 0 we have a solution like this, but if you look at in this particular problem your lambda is 1 by pi and for which uh, this d lambda is coming out to be 0. So, it means that uh, we, we do not have a unique solution for this. Then uh, we we need to find out the situation when we have say uh, no solution or uh, more than one solution. So, for that we have to look at the uh, Eigen values and Eigen function of the transpose equation. Uh, by the way here your kernel is sin of x plus t. So, transpose kernel is nothing but the same as sin of x plus t. So, here uh, uh, this k x t is what? k x t is sin of x plus t. So, this is uh, real. So, k star t x is going to be uh, sin of t plus x which is same as sin x plus t. So, here we have uh, transpose problem is same as the same problem right. So, here when we want to discuss the Eigen value Eigen function of the transpose problem it is same as the uh, uh, considering the Eigen value and Eigen function of the same problem homogeneous problem. So, here uh, we are looking at that uh, Eigen function of the problem which is y of x equal to 1 upon pi 0 to 2 pi sin of x plus t y t dt and we want to find out say solution of this. So, when you find out the solution of this we we have already discussed how to do it. Uh, so, here we simply exp uh, expand it uh, using the formula of sin of x plus t and uh, uh, assume that uh, c 1 and c 2 where c 1 and c 2 is what you write sin of x cos of t y t dt. So, you assume c 1 as 0 to 2 pi cos t y t dt and write as c 1. Similarly, you can write c 2 as 0 to pi uh, sin, of, uh, sin of t y t dt and using the expression of c 1 and c 2 we can simply solve 
our algebraic system like this. So, here we have c 1 minus lambda pi c 2 equal to 0 and minus lambda pi c 1 plus c 2 equal to 0. So, we want to find out say uh, Eigen value corresponding to lambda 1 equal to 1 by pi. So, for this uh, lambda is equal to 1 by pi means uh, this is what this I can solve as c 1 equal to c 2. So, when you put lambda as 1 by pi you can solve and you can get c 1 equal to c 2 and corresponding uh, solution corresponding Eigen function is given by y of x lambda is 1 by pi now and c 1 is equal to c 2 I can write this as 1 upon pi c 1 a 1 x plus c 2 a 2 x where c 2 is nothing but uh, c 1. So, this I can write as c 1 times sin of x plus cos of x I am just writing 1 upon pi is merged with this. So, or you can take any constant non so this is this you can write as c 1 tilde you can say like this. So, I can say that Eigen function uh, corresponding to lambda equal to 1 by pi is given as constant multiple of sin x plus cos of x. Similarly, we can find out the Eigen function corresponding to lambda equal to minus 1 upon pi. So, go back here and here we, we put lambda equal to minus 1 upon pi and we can solve that it is nothing but c 1 equal to minus c 2 and again we can uh, simplify and your solution is uh, constant multiple of sin x minus cos of x right. And so, we have y 1 x as um, sin x plus cos x and into some constant multiple of this and y 2 x uh, which is Eigen function corresponding to lambda equal to minus 1 by pi and it is uh, like this. So, here when we have f of x equal to x then we can calculate 0 to 2 pi f of x y 1 x dx and 0 to 2 pi f x y 2 x dx and if you put y 1 y 2 here then it is uh, equal to this and when you calculate this you need you please calculate this and it is coming out to be 0. So, it means that it is not satisfying the condition uh, stated here right. So, it means that we do not have so this implies that we cannot have a solution of the uh, this uh, non homogeneous problem. So, it means that in this case our problem when f x equal to x our original problem y of x equal to x plus 1 upon pi 0 to 2 pi sin x plus t y t dt will not have any solution. But if I uh, look at uh, f of x equal to 1 and find out the value 0 to 2 pi f x y 1 x dx equal to 0 to, uh, it is coming out to be 0 you can put the value of y 1 x and similarly you can say that it is 0 to 2 pi c 1 uh, similarly you can check for 0 to 2 pi f x f of x y 2 x d f x and you can check that both are coming out to be 0. Here we have done only for y 1 x you can check for y 2 x and it is also coming as 0 and in this case this condition is satisfied right and it means that your homo uh, your uh, non homogeneous problem will have a uh, uh, infinite many solution. So, we which we can write it here y of x equal to f of x plus uh, constant uh, say uh, uh, any constant multiple of y 1 x plus uh, some constant multiple of y 2 x. So, when you write it then we can write that y of x is equal to x plus a cos of x plus b of sin of x. So, in this case when f of x equal to 1 we have uh, uh, we have this condition that this 1 is orthogonal to uh, Eigen functions corresponding to transpose equation. Here, transpose equation is the same equation. So, here this condition is satisfied, and we have a solution y of x given as x plus a, a cos x plus b sin x, or you can say that we have infinite many solution. So, that we have uh, discussed. Now, in next lecture, we try to generalize the concept discussed in this lecture and the previous lecture to uh, uh, general kind of kernels. Thank you very much.